the New York Daily News is reporting that President Trump can't get a room in Hamburg. The White House, they say, waited too long to book any accommodations for the G20 summit this week, leaving it uncertain where the leader of the free world will be sleeping. New York Daily News say they are quoting a German news report. The Hamburger Abendblatt reported that when the U.S. government tried to find Trump a room in Hamburg, it discovered that every luxury hotel in the city was already booked, thanks largely to G20. And the New York Daily News adds, BuzzFeed News called some of the ritziest hotels in Hamburg to see who had them and whether Trump had found a room. Reading in between the lines, they knew that he would have trouble finding a room, and they're calling to see if he had. And they go on to state that all of the highest rated hotels, including the Four Seasons and the Park Hyatt, were already packed with leaders and delegates from the other nations who will be coming together for the summit this weekend. They say that Saudi Arabia's King Salman booked entire hotels for themselves and their staff. They didn't say which. How many luxury hotels are in Hamburg? Right, it doesn't matter how many. They're saying they're all booked. It sounds a little bit cunty to me. It does. And the parting shot they give is wondering where President Trump, who owns hotels worldwide, but none in Germany, where he will be staying after he finishes his two-day trip in Poland. New York Daily News says that the White House did not return their request for comment. However, the Associated Press said Trump will stay at the Senate Guest House while the U.S. Consulate General in Hamburg will host his staff. Something just seems wrong with that whole thing. So, our President Trump is going to be roughing it. Why stay at the Ritz when you can stay on one of our bases, which undoubtedly are close by, with the troops? Let me know what you guys think about this mess. This has been Me The People Perspectives. Break this news. It's a bird in the hand with two in the bush. Well, you rarely see them in this good a shape. For example, the, the fingers are perfect. The bird is in mint condition. And I'd say if this were to go to auction today, conservatively, it would be worth two in the bush. Really? Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn.